Hello. Good morning, everyone. So let's get started. We have an exciting announcement about a major policy change at Whitaker Bank Fall Park this season. And to make that announcement is the Honorable Jim Gray, Mayor of Lexington. Thank you. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, Emily. Andy, it's great to be out here with everybody. Um, I want to first recognize we've got two of our council members here, at-large council member Kevin Stennett and first district council member James Brown. Y'all hold your hands up. Let's give them a breathing. Thank you all. I also want to thank Amy Barkley and Ben Chandler for their work on the important announcement that we are about to make. We also have several teams and coaches from Bluegrass Girls Fast Pitch with us this morning. These girls play at Cardinal Run Park, one of the ball fields that will benefit from today's announcement. The city of Lexington is committed to a safe and healthy quality of life for all our citizens and visitors. It was nearly 15 years ago now that our Urban County Council passed Kentucky's first citywide public smoking ban. The results were almost immediate with fewer asthma related visits to the emergency room and a big drop in the smoking rate. Today, Lexington is more productive and we're healthier, which results in lower health care costs and more active involved families. Now, for the kids and families coming to the parks, we are taking the next step as a city, announcing today that all city owned and operated ball fields will be tobacco free. Now this, will include, this will include the ball fields, the dugouts, the bleachers, spectator and concession areas and restrooms. Signs will be posted around the parks to remind everyone of the new policy. And while we are at it, we are also pleased to announce today that Whitaker Ballpark, Whitaker Bank Ballpark, home of the Lexington Legends, is also tobacco free. This important, this important move will create a healthier and safer place for the thousands of Legends fans who come to the park each season. Those fans will experience the difference at the home season opener this very Thursday. Thank you, Andy. Thank you so much and the Legends organization for seeing the value in making this important decision and good luck, good luck this season. Thank you all. Thank you so much. And now to speak, we have Ben Chandler, the CEO of the Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky. Thank you, Emma. Nice to be here today with everybody. Uh, this is a, a wonderful day. Andy, we're very grateful to you for uh, uh, bringing Tobacco Free to this facility. It means a lot and we think maybe it can uh, really make a difference further afield too in the minor leagues generally. I, I'm standing here, I'm looking at these guys, these players, you guys, I don't think you realize how wonderful it is to be your age. <laughs> there, there are a whole lot of us up here who are thinking, my gosh, wouldn't we love to be uh, in your all's shoes right now? I can tell you, I would. I, I always wanted to be a professional baseball player. That was my goal. I come from a baseball family. And uh, when I was about 12 years old, 12 or 13, I ran into something called a curveball. Uh, <laughs> I didn't handle it very well. I ended up taking up tennis after that. But, uh, but I am still a huge baseball fan, and someday I hope I'll have the opportunity to draft one, of you, one or more of you guys on uh, one of my rotisserie teams. Because <laughs> hopefully you guys will make it. The other thing I want to say to you guys is, I know you all are a Kansas City affiliate. Uh, knowing what I know about baseball, I think you all have lots more opportunity in this system. So, hooray, play hard, move up quick, and we're looking forward to watching you all on the major league level someday. 
anyway, this announcement uh, is, is historic here in Lexington, and I thank the mayor and uh, all that he's done to be a part of this. Um, as he said, Lexington led the way 15 years ago on smoke-free laws in, uh, in this Commonwealth. And when you know a little something about the history of the Commonwealth, you understand how really important that is. Uh, this is and how it has been a tobacco state. In fact, uh, it wasn't that long ago, uh, 1992, that we had as many as 60,000 tobacco farms here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Imagine that. Now we're down to below 4,500. But Kentucky also has the unfortunate uh, statistic of leading the entire country in cancer. We lead the country in cancer and we also lead the country in smoking. And that's not a coincidence, I mean that, yeah, that is not a coincidence. Uh, so anything that we can do to reduce tobacco use on any level is a very, very important measure to take here in Kentucky. If you believe that your health amounts to anything, and I would submit to you that there's nothing, nothing more important than your health. Uh, so, what's happening today in the Legends uh, Stadium is, is really important. It's an important signal that we're sending here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky to everybody about the need to curb our use of tobacco here in, in Kentucky. We are uh, hopefully going to lead the way uh, going forward. And my hat's off to uh, certainly both the mayor and Andy Shea for the efforts that you all are making here. It, it uh, takes a little guts to do this in a state like Kentucky, and we appreciate that. Uh, we have an award, the, the Foundation for Healthy Kentucky has an award that we'd like to present to both of you. It's our Health Policy Champions Award. We've only given out like maybe two of these. So uh, these, these are, uh, not a whole lot of people have these right now. We may hopefully would be able to give out more, but, but this is an important thing. We think it's an important move on, health, on the health policy front in Kentucky, and you all have shown great leadership and courage in doing this, and I'd like to award, give you all these awards today. Okay, okay. Mayor, you, health you. policy no, champion. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Let's thank get it going. Andy. Thank you guys. Good luck everybody. Emma. Thank you, Mr. Chandler. Um, now we'll hear from Director Amy Barkley from the Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids. Thank you, Emma. Thanks so much. And as Ben said, it's great to be up here today surrounded by all these young, handsome, and talented baseball players. And we're here today to join the chorus uh, to applaud the Lexington Legends for taking a strong stand against tobacco and for kids by making Whitaker Bank Ballpark 100% tobacco free. So another round of applause for the Legends um, organization and the city of Lexington. Sorry, I'm going to be like a millennial and read from my phone here. <laughs> Um, this action today is a perfect complement to our Knock Tobacco Out of the Park national campaign that you may have heard from, heard about. Um, it's working to take tobacco out of the game of baseball for good. And uh, since the early 90s, the, um, the minor leagues have really led the way on this issue because it's been since that time that, as you guys know, the minor leagues have prohibited players from using smokeless tobacco. Um, on the fields to be good role models for, for kids. Um, and for years, public health leaders have been talking to the Major League Baseball organization um, and the Players Association to end smokeless tobacco use in baseball altogether. We started this campaign to make sure that kids who love the game no longer end up using chewing tobacco and being hooked on it as a result. Since 2015, we've worked with teams and city governments all across the country 
uh, to change the game for the better. San Francisco, Boston, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, uh, Washington DC, Milwaukee, Tampa Bay, and St. Louis have all passed ordinances prohibiting smokeless tobacco use at all sporting events, including the major league stadiums. A total of 14 out of the 30 major league teams are now completely tobacco free um, at, during games and so forth. This includes the field, the clubhouse, the dugouts, and the stands. So the players, spectators, everyone is covered by these policies. As a result of this work, the new collective bargaining agreement between owners and players reached on November 30th, 2016, prohibits all new Major League Baseball players from using smokeless tobacco, which means it's no longer a question of if baseball becomes tobacco free, but when. And these guys are a step ahead because when you go to the majors, you will already be in good shape. You won't need to worry about, about that. Um, but we're not stopping there. In fact, later this month, Seattle is poised to be the next city to knock tobacco out of the park. Um, and we won't stop until the entire league and the entire game is free of addiction. So that's why it's so great to see the Lexington legends and the city of Lexington understand that smoking and other tobacco use has no place at a baseball game. You already protect all your citizens, as Mayor Gray said, from secondhand smoke in schools, restaurants, bars, and all other workplaces. And the next important step is to eliminate it from Whitaker Bank Ballpark and all other city-owned ball fields. By taking tobacco completely out of the game here in Lexington, you're sending a strong message to kids, and uh, our, the entire community here that baseball, our national pastime, should be about promoting a healthy and active lifestyle, not a deadly and addictive product. Thanks so much for your leadership, and thanks to you guys, and best of luck. Good season. Thank you. Ben's complimenting me on my eyesight. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> And now to speak on behalf of the Lexington Legends, the uh, CEO and President, Andy Shea. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And what a heck of a start to our media day. This is absolutely incredible. Appreciate every single person who's been here and part of this, not only this initiative, but this organization. Um, where this kind of stemmed from with me personally and professionally was ironically the announcement when the San Francisco Giants said that they were leading the way of making San Francisco and the ballparks tobacco free. Uh, I've never, I haven't been to San Francisco in over 25 years. I don't know anyone in their field staff or anything, but when I read about what their manager was doing to quit tobacco, that really hit home with me because I played baseball. I never played pro ball, but I played through my sophomore year at Boston College. And from the time you almost start playing baseball, you dip, or that's what you do, and that's what you're around. And it's almost like a rite of passage where, you know, oh, well, you're a baseball guy. Oh, well, you play baseball. Well, it doesn't have to be like that. It's not healthy. It's not what's best for our kids. It's certainly not what's best for the youth and for everything in the game. So for us to be able to, you know, jump on board with a bunch of these major league teams and major league cities, not only do we love it for the city of Lexington, for Central Kentucky, for Eastern and Southeastern Kentucky, and all of our fans, but we love it and being able to lead the way with minor league baseball. And this comes after a year where we won the 2017 John Henry Moss Community Service Award. Out of, thank you. So out of 160 teams, we won the Community Service Award. Something we're very proud of, but also something that really kind of, you know, left us all saying, looking at each other, well, what next? Now what? So this is a beautiful way to start off the 2018 season for us and everything that we have going on at the ballpark. We've also added a legendary leagues program where we're partnering with 13 Central Kentucky Little Leagues and throughout the season not only will we be donating money to them and having a presence at their facilities and ballparks, but they're going to be bringing over 13,000 kids here throughout the first, throughout the spring really, even before we get to the summer, to ball games. So it'll be a heck of a lot of fun for them and for everyone at the ballpark as well. Along those lines, we've completely renovated and revamped our kids area. Again, that is the focus of 
sports, of the Lexington Legends, of this facility. We've added a Euro bungee out there. We've added a speed pitch out there. We've added a virtual reality machine. We've added an augmented reality setup and game that we'll be playing in the facility. So there's a heck of a lot of fun, cool, new things going on at the ballpark. On the field, <clears throat> as the season started in the big leagues uh, about a week or so ago, uh, at that point we had had over 80 former legends play in the big leagues and we had 22 former legends that were on the opening day rosters, including 2010 Lexington legend Jose Altuve, who is the reigning American League MVP. So we've got a lot of great things going on in the facility, on the field, and in the community, and we're just excited for baseball season. So thank you again very much for being here, and now it is with complete excitement, so excited to announce my friend, our manager for the second year in a row, Scott Thorman. Thank you, Andy, Mayor Gray, Amy. Ben, we might be able to help you out with the curveball. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tall task. It's going to take a lot of work. I'm telling you. We Go might on. be able to help you out a little bit. <laughs> Emma, thank you. Uh, we're, we're extremely uh, proud of our affiliation with the Lexington Legends. The Kansas, Kansas City Royals can't say enough great things about the Legends and the stuff they do for our players on and off the field. Uh, part of their growth is being at events like this and experiencing the wonderful things that are happening in Lexington. And Andy, Gary Durbin, we thank you for that. And uh, we're looking forward to a great season. We spoke with the players yesterday about this being the first major hurdle in their careers. Um, full season A ball is a big deal. And as Andy said, over 80 players to the big leagues from this affiliate is a pretty incredible number. So hopefully that's inspiring for our players. We ask them the same thing every day. Bring their best effort and a positive attitude. And that's all we can ask from these young men. We've got some familiar faces and we also have, I don't know if it's a record or not, but we have five 19 year olds on our starting roster. So that's pretty impressive as a, as a young prospect field organization. We're very proud of that. And we're looking forward to the talent that we're gonna put on the field this year. Um, going through our roster, we've got Nolan Watson, Garrett Davila, Daniel Tillo, Colin Snyder, Andre Sotiet, Josh Mitchell, Sal Biasi, Julio Pinto, Carter Hope, Dylan Drabble, Holden Caps, Tyler Zuber, Sebastian Rivero, MJ Melendez, Nick Prado, Ricky Aracena, Jason Guzman, Dennis Shea Carrasco, Oliver Nunez, Travis Jones, Martin Gasparini, Sayuli Matias, Michael Gigliotti, and Vance Vizcaino. So these guys will be available for any questions you may have after. Um, we're looking forward to a great summer and uh, our continued relationship with the Lexington Legends. So we thank you. All right, well, thank you all for coming. Um, like uh, our manager said, uh, the players will be available for the next 20 minutes for interviews if any of you would like to speak to them um, but then they have to have their own little media day get some photos and then practice so again thank you so much for coming out and have a great rest of your day